this minutes and sharks ace vegas here hope you're doing well i am standing out front of the new york new york hotel and casino uh right in the heart of the las vegas strip well actually on the south side honestly so we're gonna go ahead and do a little walking tour we're coming across the mgm grand bridge right now and uh, we're gonna go check it out so let's go it's the ace of vegas the ace of vegas Okay, here we go guys rolling over to the New York New York Hotel and Casino. This place is a ginormous mega resort 2020 rooms, excuse me 2024 rooms if I recall correctly and suites and towers and all that also has that giant roller coaster up top over there that high roller roller coaster there So that's always a good time So one of the three major roller coasters on the strip and we're coming across the bridge from MGM Grand, as you can see right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get inside. So there are two levels to the hotel here. Well, two major levels here. So there's the arcade level that is also on this floor here, but it's uh, across the casino. But this is kind of their uh, little foyer here, where everything happens. We have Newark Pizzeria, which is alright. I don't recommend it. I don't like the pizza there. And we also have the Houdini's Magic Shop, New York Pretzel, and the entrance to Hershey's Chocolate World, too. So if you're into that, it's a good place. This is also where you'll find the mezzanine elevator, if you're going to be uh, on that floor. Now, if you head over this way, you're going to see the frozen daiquiris, Coyote Ugly, and all that good stuff right now, too. I don't think Coyote Ugly is open with the pandemic going on right now. Yeah, the venue is unfortunately currently closed, so there'll be no Coyote Ugly for the foreseeable future, unfortunately. So if you have to dance in a bar, you're going to have to find somewhere else. Otherwise, there's a lovely view of the casino, including the M Live Players Desk. Pretty solid casino area. All very brightly lit. It's actually got one of the best atmospheres for a casino of all time. All right, here we go, going into the casino area presently. So I put this down for just a second as we get onto the footpath. Okay, heart of the casino here. And we're looking at a lot of good stuff. We're just gonna stay on the footpath for a little while and check out the uh, center bar, which has been recently refreshed and is looking beautiful right now. They also tore out a lot of the carpet around here, so the carpet, it's still kind of ugly, but that's pretty standard for a hotel casino. All right. But yeah, Center Bar is definitely where it's at right now. Thoroughly enjoying that. And the casino is kind of broken up a little, a little weird around here. So everything goes to the casino. If you're interested in literally anything, you have to walk through the casino. Now, when you cut past the center bar, there are a couple different places you can go to. There is the Manhattan Express that goes up. That's the uh, roller coaster. Is the Manhattan Express that high roller, ha high Manhattan Express, high Manhattan Express. <laughs> High Roller <laughs> Manhattan Express and that actually goes up this way too where there's another pizza place so many pizza places here in this hotel we're gonna go check out more pizza but that's after you uh, come downstairs into the casino you go straight past the center bar you can see where we started right over there and then we just kind of cut a little swath straight through the casino and we ended up over this way and it doesn't look like the food court up here is open presently. What a shame, what a shame. But normally there's a big food court up here and there's also an arcade called the uh, Big Apple Arcade. 
Yep, big apple uh, coaster and arcade. Appears to be closed. I don't know, I guess it is open. Parking garage. Looks like it's being in a pretty socially distanced right now. And then we have meeting rooms and parking garage up this way too. So if you come in through the garage, you're gonna end up straight at the uh, arcade. Let's get back downstairs, see what else is uh, down there to eat. Okay, so we're back. And we're coming back to the lobby and the check-in. The lobby and check-in is kinda towards the back of the casino here. Uh, there is a front entrance through the casino side, but this is where you check in. And then there's also the business center towards the back too, and the lobby bar. All of which have actually been pretty recently refreshed. New York, New York is actually looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm liking the new look of New York, New York. It looks, uh, it looks pretty clean. Actually, probably the cleanest I've seen it. Got all the, you got the essential shop over here. And some lounges too. And then go straight back upstairs to the parking too. So several ways to get back. Souvenir shop. And of course we have the pool over on this side too. All right. But good stuff, but this is where the pool is. Last time I stayed in New York, New York, I didn't uh, go to the pool. I'm gonna go to the pool next time, just uh, next time I come through and stay here. But yeah, just until then. Okay. Oh, and also, let's go ahead and take a break over here and hit the hand washing station. Minimum 20 seconds on the clock, guys. All right, hand washing station, outstanding gesture, but I think it's uh, the water's too cold for it to make a difference. Okay, back onto the main path. So we're gonna go ahead and cut another way through the casino over here. Like the whole complex is built physically around the casino. So if you wanna do anything, you're definitely going through the casino. This is a much uh, more kid-friendly hotel with the arcade upstairs. And the Hershey's Chocolate World, they even have the chocolate bar there too. So, there is that. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the Central Park area. That's on the other side of the bar, of the center bar. So we cut around that in Nine Fine Irishman too. It's probably my favorite pub in this entire place is Nine Fine Irishman. They used to have an amazing, an utterly amazing reward for it with My Vegas, but they took that away. Not sure if they couldn't negotiate more rewards with them or what. But it's a bit of a shame, but you know, whatever. All right. And here we are going through Central Park and we stopped at Times Square. So Times Square is the center bar over here. There's a, actually, I have a drink voucher for New York, New York that I gotta turn in here so that we can try that out tonight. There's also uh, Fornia, the Italian restaurant. I think it's Italian at least. And then Chin Chin, the Chinese restaurant. I've eaten over there before. So I like that Gallagher Steakhouse. And then this is uh, us just kind of cutting through the park right now. Get the virtual waiting list over here. I think we're gonna go check this out after uh, the group pulls. 
Get some Times Square action going. Greenberg Sally's over here too. And uh, yeah. And of course you have Tom's Urban over here. I think I have a two for one drinks with them too. So I might go ahead and uh, turn that in, do a little happy hour over there first, right before the group pull. Can't seem to find my pizza place though. <laughs> there goes the, you guys just missed it, but the uh, roller coaster actually ends here in the casino and it stops right there. It's kind of cool. Fulton fish fry. And of course we have the Zumanity Theater. So I reviewed that one too. Unfortunately, Zumanity is currently canceled. This is July 4th weekend, and it probably won't be reopening. If you're interested in Zumanity though, hopefully it'll survive the bankruptcy closure from, uh, from uh, Cirque du Soleil. And if you're interested in a review of that, I've got one linked in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. I think I actually prefer that one to Pa. Seen a lot of staff out here with a lot of cleaning supplies. That's good. Feels very clean in here. Drastically underrated uh, hotel in New York, New York. I enjoy it. All right. Hey. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the hotel portion and the casino portion. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go out the main entrance. Okay, and we were just at Tom's Urban. And if you take a ride over here, you see the gift shops on the side that go back into the casino. And most importantly, the sport book. So not a lot of sports going on right now, unfortunately, but you get still get your individual screens and you still get your whiskey and all that. Uh, no smoking right now in the sports book, so that's been uh, that's been kind of a blessing in disguise. I'm enjoying that. And then on the way back out the casino over here. Okay. And boom, this takes us back to the no sleep till Brooklyn Bridge. Usually there are nice little parties out this way. And then this is just your path back to Park MGM, which is presently closed. So here we are, guys. This was the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Hopefully you found that informative and fun. I know I did. And if you enjoyed today's content, found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And, uh, you know, you can consider subscribing too if it's something that you're into. Otherwise, those Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out. And I'm wishing you strong hands, happy spinning, and, uh, yeah, send for a drink.